Right, so I'm back into Water again. And, uh, yes, yeah, the, um, the battle rain changes and the qualitative matchmaking change has also been put into place as well by Kojin. Um, yes, yeah, so, what have they changed? Well, a lot. And, judging by what I'm seeing, it's for the worse, much for the worse. Um, it's going to be quite horrific, actually, from what I can tell. Because from what I can see here, not many things has actually changed. That's still at Batman Range 6. That's still at Batman Range 6. That's still at Batman Range 6. Um, that's still at Batman Range 6. That's still at 6.3. They've changed these. These are both down to 4.7, and that's down to 5.0. Uh, B24, still 6. Still 6. Uh, still 6.3, so they've not changed. A lot of these aircraft haven't changed here. Which is a problem. Because what they've done is they've down did all of these jets. I'm not kidding. That's 6.7. That's been down to 6.7. That was at 6.7. This has been down to 7.7. I think that, that was at 8.3 before. That's now 8.0. And that's now the top tier one at 8.3. 7.7. Uh, 7.7. And that's been down to again to 7.0. Um, that's still at 7.3, and that's still at 8.0. Um, that's just the Americans. <laughs> I know they've changed other things as well, like P40, that's now down to battle rating 2.3, which will basically mean that it will fight against biplanes. Yes. This is the way that Gaijin are developing, or rather killing their game. That's been down tiered. That's been down tiered. That's... I think that was down tiered already to 3.3. Um, I think that's been down tiered slightly as well. Let's have a look at some more of these, shall we? Um, that's... No, that's stayed, stayed at 4.7. Um, 4.0, 4.0, they're still the same. I think that's still the same. I think that's still the same. 3.0, I think that's right. It might have been 2.7 before, I'm not 100% sure of that one. 4.0, 4.3, that's the same. 5.3, 5.7, they're the same. Yeah, so, you know, this is just the Americans I'm looking at at the moment. Let's have a look at the tanks, shall we? This is where it's going to get really funny. Because, now you've got the M60 at 7.7. The M103 is at 7.7. The M47 is at 7.7. M46 is at 6.7. M42, 6.7. And 47 and T95 has been down tiered as well. So all of these have been down tiered apart from... No, that's been down tiered as well. Sorry, my mistake. Apart from that, I think that that was at 6.7 prior to this little change. Uh, that's still at 7.0, that's at 6.7, and that's still at 6.7. So yeah, the, that, for example, the M2061 and the M26, they will both get up tiered into the games with the M60. M41 still at the same battle rating, M36 still at the same. Yeah, so, um, it's, this is really comical, to be honest, um, and does not bode well for the game at all. That's been ulted, really? They've ulted the Hellcat? What about the normal M18? Yeah, that's been ulted as well, wow. Like it needed it. Um, Germans. So, yeah, this is where it gets, yeah, even more comical, I suppose. Um, that's at 7.0, uh, that's at 7.7 now, and that's at 7.7, that's at 6.7, that's at 7.0, so that's been updated slightly for some god awful reason, and that's still at 7.0. Um, so yeah, you know, all of these vehicles here, they can get down to now into games with all of these, which, um, wouldn't, you know, it doesn't actually mean that much, well, without me, you know, testing it out. But from what Gaijin is saying, they're basically saying is that all of the top tier vehicles, like these ones at 7.7, .7, there'll only be a maximum of four of those in game. Everything else will be lower. Which basically means that these are now the ultimate seal clubbers. Everything that's top tier is now the ultimate seal clubber, and it's all aimed to get you to play these vehicles. So 8.0, 7.7, 7.0. Template. They've, not, they've not changed. I'm assuming that these haven't changed either, no. Uh, that's not changed. And I don't think that's changed either. 
Um, I'm kind of surprised that the uh, these Russian prop planes haven't been downed. Because, you know, obviously need it with broken flight models. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know... They really have just screwed the pooch on this one, as far as I'm concerned. The, the, this is where it gets really comical. Uh, because, you know, the Russians have the most top tier 5 uh, vehicles anyway. And what you've got now is the T-10M is at 7.7. .7. So that'll fight against the King Tiger. The Tiger 2H, the uh, Yag Panther. And um, the Ferdinand. You know, the Yag Panther is like, what, 1943, 1944 vehicle? This vehicle... See if it's got any information. Of course not. Um, let's have a quick look at their Wikipedia. No information, obviously. But yeah, I know for a fact that this little vehicle, the T10M, is definitely post-war. Um, IS-4, that's post-war as well. And that's now at 7.7. .7. That'll fight against King Tigers. That'll fight against King Tigers as well. And all of these will. All of them. All of the T-54s will now fight against King Tigers. That'll fight against King Tigers as well. Uh, and that will, but that would do anyway. Before, um, apparently they've also added a new shell for the IS-2. So I'm just going to have a quick look at this. Um, it's this round, apparently. Although I think what they've done is they've added that round to this IS-2. Let's have a quick look. No. Okay. So what have they added it to then? Well, that was already there, as far as I'm aware. So that really makes no sense at all. As normal, I suppose. Um, but yeah, you know, it's it's just a disaster. It really is. They've basically ignored what the community have been asking for and just done their own thing and increased the bias already in the game. Um, I was going to do some more flights out with the vampire today, and now I'm like, no, because that can get up tiered into games against, um, you know, Sabres and MiG-15s. It could get up, up tiered into say, um, games against Sabres and MiG-15s before, but not the top tier ones. Now it can. And I'm guessing it probably will do on a regular basis. Um, so yeah, there's no change there, no change there, no change there. Um, that's been down tiered significantly. As is that. Um, Canberra's, that's been down to slightly, I think, to uh, 7.7, .7. it was 8.0 or 8.3 before. Um, that's still the same, Vampire's still the same, and Venom has been down to slightly as well, to 7.7. .7. That's still at 7.0. Uh, let's have a look at some more, 5.7, that's still the same, <laughs> even though it's shit. Uh, 6.3, that's still the same. See, that will fight against um, 7.3s. So let's have a look at the 7.3s, shall we? 7.3s are things like the LA-15. Um, the the yeah, MiG-9s as well. Um, almost surprised that... Yeah, it almost will fight against the MiG-15. It's just amazing. Um, as far as the Germans go, it's kind of up shit creek without a paddle now. Um, that's 8.3 and that will be 8.0. 8.0 for that, lol. 7.7 um, .7 for that, you know... 7.0, that's not shifted, that's still the same. That'll now get clubbed by make 15s again. 7.7, um, .7, yeah, that's pretty much fucked anyway. Um, 6.7, .7, yeah, it's still the same, so that'll get fucked. Uh, that's 6.7, .7, still get fucked. Uh, 6.7, still get fucked. Uh, 6.3, not so fucked, but still fucked. Because that'll fight against Banshees. Um, 6.7, .7, yeah, that's still the same, but again, doesn't matter, it's still going to get fucked by the matchmaker. But the problem is, is like I say, you know, the, the Banshee's now down to battle range 7. It's dropped again. So that, at battle range 7, will fight against the D-13. It will fight against the uh, D-12. And it will also fight against all of these jets in, well, apart from the... Well, actually, no, it can actually fight against the MiG-15. But it will fight against all of these. Well, these three, and that one, and that one for that example. So apparently, the Banshee is the equivalent of the ME 262A1, A, which is a uh, what 1943 jet. And um, you have to bear me if I'm wrong, but I think the Banshee is a 1948 aircraft. Of course, yeah, didn't think there'd be any information there. 
that's obviously not on, list of, on their list of priorities. But yeah, you know, it's like, it's funny how, you know, P-51Ds get downed. The F-82 gets downed as well. None of these get downed. And none of these get downed either. And looking at the British, from what I can tell, doesn't look as though any of these have been downed either. That has. Well, that hasn't. Uh, that hasn't. And neither is that. That hasn't. That hasn't. And neither is that. That has. And that has. Uh, I don't think that has. That hasn't. And neither is that. That's been dented. Bizarrely. But that hasn't. Which has a broken flight model. You see, these changes make no sense whatsoever. Not that, it, not that they did before, but, you know, now it's even worse because all of these aircraft pretty much can fight against uh, all of the jets. I'm not even going to have a look at Arcade. Arcade can go fuck itself as far as I'm concerned. Um, let's have a look at the Japanese. The Japanese, they were screwed anyway to begin with, well, up here, at these tiers. But now I'm assuming it'll be worse. So 6.3, that's not changed. That's dropped down by 0.3. Uh, still 4.3, that's still 6.0, and that's still 6.3. Um, these will still probably both be 6.3s, yep. Um, these will probably still both be 5.3s, yep. Uh, 6.0. Uh, 6.7 still. 7.7 uh, still. 7.7, that's dropped down significantly. I think that was at 8.3 before. And they're all still at 7.0, with still hideous repair costs. Um, yeah, so what I'm seeing is they've, they have just pushed ahead with their initial idea for this little, you know, change to the matchmaker, which is apparently is supposed to improve things, which the, the way that they've explained it isn't going to, it's just going to make things worse. How well that, you know, performs in game is a different matter. I'm going to do a series of tests today and try and, uh, you know, ex examine some of these um, changes that they've done in an unbiased form. Um, there may be swearing involved. <laughs> I'm assuming there'll probably be quite a bit of swearing involved. Because, uh, you know, this is the way that the game's now supposed to be improved. Through another one of Gaijin's little features. Alright, so, starting off, uh, let's see. What I think I'm going to do is maybe work from the top and work my way down. So I'll have a game in the uh, Sabre and see what I end up against. And then I'll, you know, take it in increments downwards. So I'll do this one, which is, uh, what, 8.3, then I'll do an 8.0 game, then I'll do a 7.7, .7, etc, etc. Down to around about 6.0, I think. Um, and then I'll probably do the same thing with the tanks as well. I'm not going to stay to one nation, I'm going to switch between the different nations so that way it's a little bit more random and a little bit more chaotic which should hopefully uh, make it a little bit less um, predictable I suppose apparently that new round that they've added to the IS-2 is for the um, 1944 and the uh, Revenge as well. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for you to call. I mean, I've, you know, you've seen obviously what I've got, and you, you've seen, you've witnessed my grind as well. And you can trust me when I I do feel sorry for you. I'm just personally glad that I don't have to do it. He's basically just stated that he's um spaded both King Targus yesterday and unlocked the Panther 2 today. They all sit at 6.7, which basically means they get up to into games against the IS-4, the IS-3, any of the T-54s, the SU-1, T-254, and the T-10M, as I've already described. Um, it was it was kind of bad before, but now it's just horrific. I can imagine what the game is going to end up like.
what I'm expecting is, um, as far as, sorry, not as far as the actual gameplay goes, but as far as the community reaction goes, is that you're going to see um, an initial kind of surge for maybe a week, maybe two weeks, where people are going to jump into the game and go, oh, look, they've changed the matchmaker, I want to check it out. And then they'll try out their favourite vehicle, be it a jet, be it a prop plane, be it a tank, and they'll be getting into these games against, you know, stuff like the Sabres, stuff like the IS series, like the IS-3, IS-4, T-10M, and then they'll just rage quit immediately. Because personally, if I was in this situation and I was trying to grind through all that shit, I wouldn't be fucking interested at all. It's just retarded. Why the fuck would you want to put a World War II tank or jet up against a Korean War era aircraft or tank? It makes no sense. The only real sense I can see in it is that Gaijin really are trying to kill their game. For whatever reason, you know, I honestly can't tell. Why they would want to do that is just beyond me. Maybe they're trying to sell it off to some, you know, Western company. And by killing it off, they're thinking, you know, well, people will, or big companies might think this is an opportunity to buy a game dirt cheap. And personally, I kind of hope that um, someone will buy it off them, because they might actually improve the game. Listen to the community and actually start doing something productive with it, rather than what Guy Jin are doing. Right, anyway, so I've actually made it into a game with the F2 Saber. This can get down to in 7.3 games. Let's have a look. F2, F2, F2. F2, right, so that's bullshit straight away. This game, the, the, you know, the little change, they said that there's only going to be a maximum of four top tier vehicles in a game. That's um, seven I can see so far. <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they, they literally said that on their website. That only a maximum of four, four aircraft or tanks of the top tier should be able to make it into a game. Everything else in that game should be less. That's not what's happening in this game. You can see from that, that's eight F2 Sabres in this game. Not four, eight. So it's already failed in the first game. It, it really does make me chuckle how bad they can do things, how bad they implement things in this game. Wait a minute, there's someone else yet to join. What's the Ben? He's in a Sabre as well. Oh, there's another two people yet to join. Now, we are supposed to be up against Russians and Germans in this particular event, but I'm guessing, because we've got nothing but 8.3s, then they will have nothing but 8.3s. So it's going to be... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's... What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this is how this new matchmaker is apparently going to work. Apparently, though, you don't get true top-tier games, though, anymore, Carl. If you look at their, you know, their statement with regards to this new change, like I say, only four of the top-tier aircraft should be in the game. No more than four. Sorry, the matchmaking update has just been implemented. And it's looking like it's broken already. Oh, 
I mean, I would say I'm surprised, but I was expecting this anyway. You can see from that. That's not how they've described how this matchmaker is supposed to work. There's nine F2 sabers in this game. There should only be a maximum of four, according to the way they've described it. Not nine. Alright, and RTB. Oh no, I'm dead. Yes, Alright, so, back to the hangar. And let's try it the next bracket, which is going to be 8.0. Like I say, I'm going to do aircraft first. Test out the aircraft ratings. Let's see how that works out. Alright, so 8.0 next. 8.0 uh, basically is going to be MiG 15s, um, Bisses, that is. So I'll take out the German one. <laughs> the crew is experted. I don't know why I did that. Let's just have a quick look at the uh, general chat, shall we? Before the tanks is better than this in terms of balance law. <laughs> oh, stop the key guy genius boot you risky. The O1 was tanker tier 5. This guy's actually complaining that he wasn't down dead.
Oh, I can hear props. But that's just the sound effects being shit. Okay, so here we go again. <laughs> Six big 15 pisses. Seven. When there should be a maximum of four. How bad can they actually, you know, do this? That is the question. I mean, two six twos in this game. This is balance, apparently. So they've got a uh, Sabre F25. That's about rating 8. I kind of doubt that they'll have any 8.3s in this game, because we don't have any. But then again, this is uh, War Thunder. We've always got an ME163 there. Now this is Battle Rain 8.0, Bobby. They've down it. The, uh, there's only two aircraft that have a Battle Rain 8.3. And that's the CL-13 and the uh, Sabre F2.
Only 15 uh, bis can into space, apparently. Bear, um, sorry, not Bearcat, Panther down there, and a Meteor. I'm assuming that's a Mark 8. Oh, there's a Banshee there. <laughs> oh, dear. I, I would say I feel sorry for him, but Banshees have been a canter in this game since, uh, I don't know, um, when they were implemented, maybe. Interesting uh, visibility mechanics as always. There's the Banshee. Hello, Banshee. Whoop. That was close. And there goes that sabre. And now the uh, <laughs> sabre is actually complaining about being shot down by a uh, ME 163. <laughs> oh.
Well, I got the saber at least. Poor little Banshee's trying to keep up. I, like I say, I almost feel sorry for him. But, no. <laughs> I don't. You really gonna... Wow, okay. Interesting. And pilot stunt. How he did that from below, I'm not so sure. But, you know, balance. Oh, this is quite interesting. Let's check that out. This is apparently what happens to an aircraft when the bullet's been knocked out. Whatever that is. Brilliant. Yeah, I know it's going pretty slow there. But what I f thought was a little bit uh, unusual was the fact that I was flying, you know, it's normal, you know. The plane was, uh, what's it called? Upright. <laughs> he was below me, and yet was able to pilot start me. I basically shot through the entire fuselage to kill the pilot, because he was shooting at me from over there somewhere, or lower, down there somewhere. So the shots would have hit the fuselage around about here, gone all the way through that part of the plane and took the pint out which was there. So, mm, yes. Kind of strange. Well, I'm going to close the general chat down because as normal that's just full of crap. Let's see. Now it's down to 7.7s for the next one. So, buddy joined your channel. Hello, Hello Lattos. How's it going? Is oh, okay, I guess. Alright. I'm just having a look at the new um, changes to the matchmaker for War Thunder. They've yeah, just implemented them. Russians? What? It's favor. Fav no, it's just fucked the entire system, dude. Have a look at their website and have a look at what they've done. It's actually quite comical. Well, I say quite comical, very comical. Okay, so Panther's the next one. This is the second model of the Panther. <coughs> I've uh, flown this one out quite a few times before. Can't say um, I've had that much success with it, at least as far as I recall. Um, but that was before the matchmaker was buggered as it is now. And preparation H for all your hemorrhoid needs. I've already done the F2, Bobby. I'm not going to do that again. OK, 
Okay, so that's an A5, that's 7.7 as well. A5, 7.7, 7.7, 7.7. So again, we're in this position where the matchmaker has failed to do what it says it's going to do. Uh, just putting four top tier aircraft into one game. Because I can count at least six there. What I'm also doing is taking screenshots of each one of these uh, tests that I'm doing. So I can then obviously refer back to them at a later time. Bobby, go and have a look at what they've actually written with today's update. It states there, you should only have four top tier aircraft or four of the upper bracket of aircraft or tanks in the game. Not six or nine, as the case was in the first game that I had. Hello again, uh, all guys. Yeah, I remember you.
AA is shooting at me, I'm at fucking 4.6 kilometers up, there's three of my allies below me. Yes. Sense. This game does not have it. Or common sense even. But there goes one guy, he's uh, saying he's not going to play another game. I don't blame him. I really don't. That's a Mark Three Meteor down there. No wonder if I'm, I'm having having problems getting on his tail. He's going so slow in comparison to what I am. Three left on their team. One's a camber. The unarmed version of the camber, I should add. No, I knew it was going to be just as bad as this, to be honest, Bobby. Because I had a look at the battle rating changes as well. 
and saw that most of the stuff wasn't really getting shifted at the top tier other than the really high tier stuff which is getting down tiered or has been down tiered two left on there Tim and we've got oh, uh, five I think it is Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, actually. Balance. And we outnumbered them as well. Comically. That's just comical. Oh, wait a minute. Looks like they may only have one guy left. That guy has actually got a death on his um, tag. So it means he's been effectively killed, but he may have made it back to the airfield and crash landed. In which case, he's probably getting repaired. But when they announced this change, Bobby, I shot it down in flames on the forums. Alright, well that's 7.7 is done. And the next one is 7.3. I don't... Th well, I'm not sure if the Americans actually have any 7.3s. I'll have to have a look at um, what else there is, because I'm not going to just be flying out Americans, as I've already said. I want to test out as many different nations as I can throughout this battle rain range. I'm going to be down tiering, dude. I'm not going to be staying at that tier. I'm going down to 7.3 now. I'm going to basically do um, 7.3 next. Then 7.0, then 6.7, then 6.3, then down to 6.0. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing for tanks as well. Not that tanks have a 8.0 or 8.3 battle rain aircraft anymore. That's now been removed. So, let's see. 7.3 could take that out I suppose but it's not got any guns um you know what uh, let me think Germans don't have any 7.3s Russians as far as the, oh no they've got the LA-15 ah okay I've well, actually flown this out so let's chuck it onto a crew and check it out on that crew. Is this on that crew? Yep. So let's throw that in. And see what happens with the LA-15. I'm not, like I say, um, the turtle, I'm not going to be staying on one particular nation. I'm going to be swapping around as much as possible in order to try and mix it up to get as m many kind of chaotic results as possible from this um, change that they've done. All right, I'm going to keep that on 20 minutes of fuel. Let's see what I get. And up to Okay, so let's have a look, shall we? 
so far we've got that's uh, about rain eight seven point seven I think. That's at um, eight point zero I think still. Make fifteen piss. That's eight point zero definitely. I'm assuming that that's probably going to be a 8.0 as well. So this is more like what they've actually described it should be working like, rather than what I've had in the last few games. And this is Russians versus Germans. Oh, this gets wep as well. Okay. And previously I've heard, at least um, with regards to this aircraft, I think it was LA-174 as well, that in level flight it could actually rip its wings off by going too fast. If I, I think that Gaijin have um, fixed that, or at least done something to it, in order to make it um, better. <laughs> or, you know, fix it as in, you know, um, how to describe it. Improved the bias, I think. Probably uh, the best way to describe it. Alright, so let's have a look now. So we've got one MiG 15 BIS, one IL 28. I believe that they're both at bat range 8. One MiG 15, which is at bat range 7.7, .7, I believe. Two MiG 9s, which are both at bat range 7. And two LA 15s, which are at bat range 7.3. So, yeah, this is kind of how they've described the matchmaker to work. Or how it's supposed to work. This is more like it's how it's supposed to work. This new change, with not the entire team consisting of top tier aircraft. It's still completely unbalanced, but you know it's more like what they've actually described it um, like. Anyway. Uh, MiG-15, this on the enemy team, which I'm not going to be able to catch, but it's actually two. The LA-15 appears to think that you can outrun a MiG-15, okay. Oh no, he's turned, okay. So, he does have some brains, at least.
Yeah, don't stand a chance of catching it. The only real way I'm going to be able to catch him is uh, by doing boom zoom. And that's not really going to be that effective because I'm unsure of the top speed of this aircraft. More so since I know that they can go faster than me. Well, at least I'm pretty sure they can anyway. There goes one, two, six, two. Oh, that's a C variant. That's the one with the booster. One left on their team and he's in the MiG-15. <laughs> Russians are screwed apparently with this new battle rating change. Yeah, he's obviously, um, he, he knows his stuff. <laughs> oh, these players. He's in the MiG-15 as well, and he was complaining.
And he ran me. We got club. They've got one player left. We've got about four players left. Three. I, I can't I'll be able to see how this plays out. So I'm going to go back to the hangar and do another one. So that was 7.3, so 7.0 will be the next one. I'm really not interested, please go away. Oh look, backup vehicles for tanks that I wasn't even using. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so 7.0. It's going to be a meteor, I think. That one. Right, so, Meteor. And upted. Fully upted.
Well, I'm pretty much bound in this game. Because they're going to have McFifty 15 Bisses. Sparkles! More sparkles! There we go! And uh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> awesome. As I said, this is um, testing out the new matchmaker changes, which, um, yeah, have just been implemented. I wouldn't be doing this otherwise. And I certainly don't intend to uh, do a lot of this. Oh, hello. Magical Ninja mid-15 bits. Balance. Alright, so that's another one done. So that's 7.0, what's 6.7? <sighs> well, I suppose I could do Germans. I'd rather do Germans um, than do a, what's it called, a F80 or P80. Or the F84 for that minute. So, we'll switch to the Arado and do a game in the Arado. Actually, should I do the Arado? Yeah, I suppose I should. But if no one tests it, Bobby, how are you supposed to know it's broken?
you know, it's it's one thing to say something's broken, but if you don't actually test it out, it's just something that you're saying is broken without, you know, having any proof. By doing this, I'm providing that proof. I mean, you've got to kind of remember that if I was to, you know, just create a video, put it on YouTube with regards to these battle rating changes without actually testing them, that Gaijin could then, in theory, sue me in a court of law. By providing the proof, they can't do that. If you understand what I'm saying, because the proof is there. I have evidence to support my claim. Oh, Lord, Korea. I'm guessing I've been up to it again. But uh, I will soon find out, obviously. Yeah, it did. How much I've been up to, though, I'm not so sure of at the moment. Right, so yeah, I got to by point three. It's still not following its um, kind of prescribed rules. A with four top tier aircraft. There's three there.
There's an A26 in this game. Well, that makes sense, obviously. And the Spitfire. I think there's a troll squad in this game. Just a guess. On that one, so let's see. There's another one there. Oh, I have no doubt this testing will be terrible. No doubt at all. In fact, if I was a betting man, I would have already put money on it. a bear cat in this game. Yes indeed, vodka matchmaking is the best matchmaking. There's two bear cats in this game. I won't be surprised if that Spitfire that I spotted is also isn't in the squad and it's probably a Mark 24. Yeah, in fact, there aren't any <laughs> squads on the enemy team. That's just brilliant. I mean, seriously, how badly can they have underestimated the, I don't know, ineptitude?
Oops, rammed him. <laughs> and that's critical damage. Quite critical damage. As you kind of expect from a ram, even though it should have really tore the wing off. I've got three left. It's a pity I'm not flying a yak into it. Then I wouldn't actually have any uh, issues flying this thing at all. And there's a Banshee doing a turn fight with a 262. Don't think this is going to work out well for him. Fuck Wolf just booming him. Go on, get him. Go on. Go on, my son. That's oh, just a hit. Well, I'm an RTB. That's just damage is quite significant. Yep, he's dead. It's funny this, I've taken quite significant damage to the right wing, a little bit of damage to the fuselage, a little bit of damage to the tail and a little bit of damage to the left wing as well. And there's not a single bullet hole on the entire aircraft. No, the engines are out. The, uh, pair of engines on the right are dead. But that's it. Now I've actually taken some damage, well, you know, bullet damage, not that I hadn't done before, but yeah, I do have a little bit of damage to the plane now, a little bit, not much at all. I've got one guy left and that's the guy in the B-17 I think. Nope, 
He's dead. We win. Alright, so that's 6.7 done. Okay, for 6.3, I'm gonna do. Hmm, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the M1K, I think. Alright, so it did. There's a surprise. Uh, 7.3, let me think. For allies, that can mean, yeah, quite a lot of um, nasty stuff.
completely lost him. There he is. And he thrashed him. And he's dead. So that's three dead on the enemy team. That's that be 29. Ah, those three or two white twos, or two or two white twos actually, I haven't killed him. I have no idea. Oh, that's quite a big fire. So I doubt that that's going to go out. Or one did. I think. That other one's not going out. Yep. So, back to the hangar. So, down to 6.0 now. There was a Banshee in that game, by the way. I didn't actually come across it, but it was that someone did mark it up. Okay, so for 6.0, I'm not going to go with the Japanese, because generally speaking, their matchmaker is even worse than everything one else is, because hardly anyone plays them. Alright, 6.0, I think it's going to be a case of the Mark 22. I'm just going to nip to the toilet whilst that's in the queue, and I'll be right back.
mission is to destroy the enemy's ground equipment and bases. Okay, this doesn't look as though I've been updated. I'll have to check in a set once I've got airborne. No, I did get updated to 6.3.
again. Yeah, this has still got a broken flat metal. J turn is right. At least that's where he appears to be. He's been. Man, there's still quite a few left. So some of them are down there. I'm going too fast for flaps at the moment. Besides that, I've already quickly damaged his uh, left wing, so I know he's not going to be able to outturn me. Fourteen rounds left. Let's see if we can kill a G8M1 with that.
That's it, we win. I was doing uh, about 275 miles an hour at that point, which, yeah, is too fast for flaps. Ooh, I thought I'd uh, fully upgraded that. I have now. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, um, yeah, so that's pretty much um, the test that I was going to do as far as the aircraft goes. I am going to leave the tanks. I'm not going to do the tanks tonight. Um, I was thinking of doing it, but um, yeah, I've got kind of better things to do, really. <laughs> it didn't take much to um, have better things to do compared to this game at the moment. You can trust me on that one. Um, but yeah, I will probably do the testing for the tanks tomorrow, I guess. Um, and run through the same kind of routine. So, you know, do 7.7, 7 7.3, 7 7.0, etc, etc. joined your channel. But that's going to do me for this evening, as far as what goes in this little current testing block that I've done. Um, and I'll come back to that 